Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of rates, specifically rates as quotients, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So first let's define what a rate is. And rate is the ratio, and when we're looking at that word ratio, we're really just thinking of a quotient or the answer to a division problem of two different measurements. So when we compare two measurements, here's a common type of problem. Let's say you're driving in your car, and you drive 226 miles, and it takes you four hours to drive that distance. What is the rate of speed? Typically, when we're talking about speed, we talk about it in MPH, or miles per hour. So we're looking at the ratio of 226 miles over four hours. And so here is where we can find our quotient. And so we can treat this as an improper fraction and it change it into a mixed number. We can simply divide up. We're going to find the ratio by dividing 4 into 226. And at that point, it becomes just a traditional division problem. So 5 uh, times is how many 4 goes into 22. And we're just going to complete our problem there and we've got 4 goes into 26 6 times 24 so we're close I'm going to go ahead and add a decimal 0 bring that 0 down so it looks like we're going to have 56.5 or 56 and 5 tenths and we can write this as miles per hour so that is the rate that is the speed because I'm taking two different measurements I'm taking my miles, I'm taking my hours, and I'm combining them into one number, 56.5. And typically, whenever you're seeing this word per, that is a big clue that you're dealing with a rate, that you're looking at a ratio of two different measurements. Let's look at a different example. Another example of when you would use rates would be when you're trying to compare prices at a grocery store. So let's say there are two different brands of bananas. And brand one here, you can buy six pounds for $2.04. Brand two, you can buy nine pounds for $3.33. You want to find the cheapest brand of bananas. Well, obviously the $3.33 costs more, but look at you're getting three more pounds. So how can you tell which one has a cheaper price per pound? Well, you hear the per pound, that means we need to find the rate. So let's set up our quotients. So our two units of measurement are going to be dollars and pounds. $2.04 by 6 pounds. So our two units, like I said, are dollars and pounds. And so let's just set up a traditional division problem here. Let's keep our decimal there. 6 goes into 23 times. It's 18, 24. So what we have here is we have 34 cents per pound. And so sometimes you'll see the per pound. Sometimes you'll see a little slash like a division sign. That's going to mean per and then the unit after that. So 34 cents per pound. Let's see what we have for 333. So 333 divided by 9 pounds. So we'll do the same thing. We're paying more, but we're getting more. The question is, is, are we getting it at a cheaper rate? So 9 goes into 33 almost four times, but not quite. We're going to make that a 3. So that's going to be 27. It's going to be 63. So that's a 37. That's going to be equal there. So 37 cents a pound. So you can see you're paying 37 cents a pound for the second brand of bananas and only 34 cents a pound for the first brand of bananas. So that first brand of bananas is going to be a cheaper brand. Now it's time for you to try. Let's say you're looking for socks. You can either get six pairs for $7.50 or 11 pairs for $12.65. Which of those two is the best deal? Go ahead and pause the video and work it out. When you think you have your answer, unpause it and check your work. The first deal costs $1.25 per pair of socks, but the second deal is cheaper. It costs only $1.15 per pair.